Hey Jumpers, Crossroads Athlete Jenica back again with another at home workout for you. Today's workout is another quick one, about 10 minutes long, so you can squeeze it in whenever you've got 10 minutes to spare. And if you don't have 10 minutes to spare, take 10 minutes for yourself. This one is jumping and body weight exercises. As usual, today the jump rope intervals are 30 seconds. We've got 15 seconds rest, and then we'll do 30 seconds of a glute focused body weight exercise. So I'm using the half pound cross rope today. Great rope to use for this one. You could use the one pound rope, or actually you can use any rope you choose. It doesn't have to be a cross rope, but of course you will really up your game by using those weighted ropes, burn some extra calories, and add a little bit of strength training in with your cardio. So choose your jump rope. We're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping, 15 seconds of rest, and then we are gonna hit the mat for some glute exercises. The first one is our straight leg rainbow kick. So we are on all fours. We want to keep our chest and shoulders fairly square to the floor. So our arms are right under our shoulders. Our knees are right under our hips. And we are sticking one leg out there nice and straight, really thinking about those glute muscles. And then we are going to rainbow kick. So tapping the toe way over here, rainbowing up and over to the other side, really squeezing those glutes keeping that core engaged to help make sure that your glutes are doing the work and your back is not taking over. So don't forget to keep that core pulled in tight and really focus on the glutes. So then of course we'll get back up, we'll jump, and then we'll come back down and we'll hit the other leg. So getting in that quadruped position, extending that leg out and rainbow kick. 30 seconds of that. Try not to lean too far over here. We don't want to be leaned way over. Again, we want to try to keep our chest and shoulders fairly square to the floor while we're doing our rainbow kicks, really thinking about those glutes, keeping a nice neutral spine as well. So try not to let your chin tuck down to your chest or try not to look too far up. We don't want to end up with kinks in our necks while we're working our glutes. So we'll pop back up, we'll jump again, and then we'll get back down. And we're gonna flip over to the other side and do some figure four glute bridges. So you're gonna take one foot, cross it over the other knee, and then you are going to do your glute bridges. So nice and slow and controlled, engaging your core and really thinking about those glutes. You might have to adjust where you put your heel to make sure that you're feeling it mostly in your glutes, not in your hamstrings and not in your lower back. You really want to feel it in your glutes. So you might have to adjust where your heel is to really get that nice burn in the glutes. So you're squeezing and breathing, really thinking about the glutes. Again, if you need to bring that heel a little closer so that it's focused there, or if you need to move it out a little further. We're all shaped a little bit differently, so your position might be slightly different than mine, but you wanna make sure that you find the position where you're hitting the glutes. Then of course, we'll do the other side, and then we will do some oh, 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 super burny <laughs> straight leg hydrant kicks, or leg raises, if you will. So we're back on all fours again. We're going to stick one leg out to the side, straight out basically from your hip, and then you're going to raise that leg up, toe tap to the floor and raising it up. Really thinking about squeezing this outer side of your bum here and working it for 30 seconds. Just like those other ones, we wanna to try to stay fairly square to the floor. Of course, when you're on leg, one leg, there's gonna be some lean, but we don't wanna lean way over. We wanna to try to stay fairly square to the floor so that we're really focusing on those glutes and not letting our upper body take over. Then we'll hit the other side. So again, on all fours, start with that leg out, toe on the floor and lift it up and down. Squeezing and breathing, keeping our core pulled in and our spine nice and straight. Then we'll jump and then we'll come back down to finish off with, I can't remember, let me look. Oh, that's right. <laughs> And then we'll finish off with some alternating leg donkey kicks. So on the last one, we won't be focusing on one side at a time, we'll alternate legs. So we'll get back down on all fours and we will pull that core in, 
keep our spine nice and neutral and keep our chest and shoulders square to the floor and we'll do our donkey kicks. Really think about squeezing that tush every time you bring those legs up. Keep that core pulled in so that you're not letting your back droop. Core is pulled in tight and you're thinking about the booty here. And that is our workout. So let's jump to it. All right, we've got a 10 second countdown and then we're gonna start with some jump rope jacks. So let's get ready to jump. Here we go. 30 seconds, jump rope jacks. So you're jacking those feet out to the sides, in and out. You can keep your jacks nice and small as you get the hang of it, or you make them a little bit bigger, a little more intense, but you can keep it nice and low intensity, just bounding lightly on the balls of your feet here. Core is pulled in, standing up tall, and we're breathing through it. And three, two, one, resting 15. All right, head on down to that mat. We're gonna do that first set of straight leg rainbow kicks. Here we go. In three, two, one, 30 seconds, rainbow kicks. Squeeze those buns. Keep that core pulled in. Rainbowing that leg up and over. Oh yeah. Feel that burn. So good. Don't forget to breathe. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Hop on up, grab that rope. Next up, we've got some scissor jumps. So we are scissoring our feet front to back. And here we go, 30 seconds, scissor jump. So we've got our core pulled in. We're looking straight out ahead. We don't want our head up at the ceiling, not down at the floor either. Nice tall posture, looking out straight ahead, making it much easier to breathe with that airway wide open and trying to stay loose and relaxed. Turning that rope with our wrists. We've got our arms pulled in close to our sides. And three, two, one, resting 15. Head back on down. We're gonna hit the other leg now. All right, three, two, one, rainbow kicks. Oh, they're so good. And if you only have 10 minutes to spare right now, then this is a great way to utilize those 10 minutes. Burning some calories, working the booty, and getting some nice endorphins flowing to help carry us on through our day. And three, two, one, rest for 15. Now, if you have more than 10 minutes, you could repeat this again. If you like those body weight exercises, go ahead and start it over. Three, two, one, back to our jump rope jacks. Keep that core pulled in. Whether we're jumping or doing our body weight exercises, we are always pulling that core in tight, standing up tall, and bounding lightly on the balls of our feet here. Even though we're moving our feet in and out, we're still on the balls of our feet. And hang with me. Three, two, one, resting 15. All right, now we've got that figure four glute bridge. So we're heading back down to our mat. Pick a leg, remember which leg you did because we'll do the other one next. And here we go. Cross that foot, 30 seconds. Glute bridge in the figure four, squeezing those glutes, keeping that core pulled in the whole time. Again, you may need to adjust where your heel is on the floor so that you really feel it mostly in the glutes rather than the hamstrings or the lower back. Don't forget to breathe. Oh yeah, three, two, one, and rest. Back up for more jumping. 
Back to the scissor jump here. Get ready. Three, two, one. Jump. Scissor jump. Of course, if you don't have the hang of the jump rope jack or the scissor jump, you can always sub in any jump you choose, including sticking with that basic jump. Don't forget to breathe and try not to get all locked up. We want to stay nice and loose while we're jumping so we can feel that rope. And almost through here. Three, two, one. Resting 15. Head back on down. Let's hit the other side. Figure four glute bridge. We've got this. And three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds. Squeezing that tushy. You've got the core pulled in the whole way through. And breathe and squeeze. Oh yeah, it burns so good. If you wanted to level up your glute bridges, of course, you could hold a weight plate on your stomach. And now we're resting though. Back to the jump rope jack. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Jump rope jacks for 30 seconds. So on your jump rope jacks, don't let those hands drift out with your feet. You want to keep your arms in the same position, whether you're doing basic jump or jump rope jacks. Hands and arms in close to the center. You've got some bend in that elbow, and that elbow is slightly behind your body line. Those hands are slightly in front of your body line. And keep on jumping. Three, two, one. Resting 15. Oh boy, those straight leg hydrant kicks are coming up. So we're gonna be working the outside now. Head on down. Here we go. Stick that leg out. Lift and lift and squeezing and breathing. And again, trying to keep our chest Nice and square to the floor here. Hoo-wee. 30 seconds feels like a really long time here. Keep that core pulled in. Take a break if you need, but do try to power through because we're almost there. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. Woo! Resting 15. Head on up. Scissor jump coming up. And then we're gonna hit the other leg. Get ready. Three, two, one. Scissor jump for 30. Don't forget to breathe. You might be feeling it a little bit here. Keep breathing. Shake out that tension on your rest break if you need to. And stay loose. Have fun with it. Blast some great music in the background if you need to. And think about how great you're going to feel. Three, two, one. After these 10 minutes are over, which we're almost there. Hitting the other leg. Here we go. In five seconds. Core pulled in tight. Back nice and straight. Here we go. Straight leg. Whoo! Hydrate kick, so up and back down. That straight leg sticking straight out from your hip. Core is pulled in tight. Try not to lean over too far. Really think about squeezing those legs. And of course, don't forget to breathe. Oh yeah, almost there. Three, two, one. Nice job, grab that rope. Jump rope jacks coming up. Here we go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Jump rope jacks for 30. Jump rope jacks aren't a super fast step. Of course, you can always try to push that pace a little bit. If you feel like you know, need to go a little harder, go for it. Ten seconds left here. 
workout. If you are done for the day, be sure to stretch out to help reduce your risk of soreness as well as reducing your risk of injury. Take care of those jumping bodies. We'll see you again for another jumping day. Happy jumping!